What is going on, mortals? Mortal T here, and today we're back on some more Immortals Phoenix Rising. Because today I'm going to give me giving you two more locations of really, really cool mounts, and they're both level three mounts, and they're both really, really well designed and just look absolutely amazing. So I'm going to be giving them the locations and how to tame them. So, first up, we have the War Horse. This is basically just like a normal horse, but it's covered in horse armor or just armor, and it looks absolutely amazing. So, in order to get this one, you will have to unlock this area, the War's Den, and it's right up here on the edge, right next to the sea. This is a location that you will have to come to. There is usually a, a Tartarus Pit here, and it is a level 3 one. So you could be able to fast travel over here, but if not, the fast, the nearest fast travel location is right here. So there you have it. But yeah, you'll have to come up to this area right here to be able to find this guy. So once you're over in this area, you'll see this big torch beacon thing, whatever it is. And usually behind that, you'll have some ponds full of waters and stuff and you'll see just a random horse that is running around and that is the war horse that we are now going to tame so the tame mechanic here on this is usually really 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 easy all you have to do is get pretty close to it by sneaking or in stealth mode or whatever it is this mode where you crouch and you have to sneak up to it but if you have got pretty far in the game and leveled up quite a bit with your abilities and you have unlocked the phoenix the phoenix has an ability to also turn you invisible so over here in the godly powers section as you can see this is your phoenix abilities right here and it's basically one of the first ones. It turns you invisible, which is really, really cool. It means you can sneak up on enemies and all the other tameable mounts that you can get on this game. So yeah, that is the best one because it literally cannot see you. And it's you get up close and personal very, very easily and quickly. So we're just going to turn invisible right here. And we're just going to walk up to this guy as fast as we can while in this crouch mode. Like I said, this guy is absolutely amazing looking, and that's how close we got to him. But as you can see, he's got a bunch of armor on, and he looks really, really cool. But we're going to tame this creature, and there we have it. We have another level 3 mount for us. This is really, really cool. So when I mean a level 3 mount, it means it has three complete bars of stamina that you can drain and use while on your roamings on this game. There you have it. That was very, very easy. Let's move on to the mechanical horse. So here we are at the next location, mortals. Just a word of warning. Be very careful around this area because there are a lot of enemies. And they're very, very dangerous. As you can see, there's one guy right there, which I haven't fought. And just on the way here, there was multiple enemies that you will have to fight. And there's some lions and other stuff <laughs> just scattered around the map. Um, but once you see these statues here of these mechanical men, you know you are in the right spot. All you have to do is look over this cliff. And you should see the horse right there just wandering around. So that is the horse that we are going to tame. Uh, there is a Tartarus pit there, so be very careful that you don't get too close to it. But the location of the map, you'll have to unlock the Forge Lands in order to actually get to this location. But as you can see, it is right here. It's kind of near the edge of the map, all the way near the top. And it's pretty hard to miss. Like I said, once you come to those statues and you've passed like, this location that you can fast travel to, you know you're going to be near the right area. So yet again, we're just going to go up to it. We're going to turn invisible to, put invisible to make it easier for ourselves. But if you can't turn invisible, you'll have to just crouch, sneak up really slowly. And if you get an exclamation point above its head, you need to stop in your tracks and let it wander around. Once it's stopped, you can then sneak up to it again. Um, but as I've got the power of invisibility because of my phoenix, that is what I'm going to use to tame this guy and make it super, super easy on myself. 
So here it is. This is no normal horse. This is a mechanical horse. This is completely, utterly mechanical. Nothing biological in it whatsoever. And yet again, it looks super amazing and it's really well designed. But yeah, again, this is another level 3 mount, so that means that it's got 3 bars of stamina, which is really, really cool. And it also lights up once it's running, which is also really cool. But there you have it, mortals. That is two more level 3 mounts that you mortals can get your hands on and have a lot of fun with. So, mortals, I hope this helps. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll hopefully see you in the next video.